Welcome back to Daytime Ottawa here on Rogers TV. Well, the cold has arrived. We've had some beautiful days over this uh, winter so far. We haven't received the snowfall that we were necessarily expecting, but we have had a cold snap. And here to tell us more about the code red situations they had yesterday from CAA North and East Ontario. I'm joined by Automated, Automotive Services Manager, Operations Manager, Mike Schmidt. Mike, Mike, welcome to the show. Great to have you here. Let's talk, like, so what is a code red exactly, Mike? Basically a code red. By the way, Derek, thanks, uh, thanks a lot for having us. Great to, great to see you again. Uh, code red for us means an extreme high volume uh, day. So when those calls are just coming in like crazy, um, you know, for example, yesterday we were doing about 120 rescues per hour. So you can definitely uh, think, think how busy it was yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. You're like the superheroes without capes driving around and, and helping so many people. Well, let's talk about some of the important things and people find themselves in situations. And one of those things is, is, is their battery. And I think we all sort of take it, you know, you take it for granted that the battery we have in our car is the right battery. Um, how does the, first of all, how does the cold affect our batteries, Mike? You know, it, 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 so the battery is basically one of our number one uh, services for our members. Uh, and, and what I mean by that is in, in these cold weather times, it is the boosting that, uh, that's, uh, that's in high demand. But it's not so much the winter that causes the battery to fail. Um, it's okay. the summer. The summer is what puts the most uh, uh, pressure uh, on the battery system and on the electrical system, and the winter just kills. It. So, so in the winter time, we're, we're uh, uh, we w- we want to be prepared before we go into the winter because we know so if you're having problems in the summer, I can guarantee you you're going to have problems in the end. So, Mike, how do, how do we prepare us? I mean, it's you know we're already in the midst of winter, but if if people are looking to do some preparation uh, now that these co- this cold snap is upon us, what should we be doing? So, you want to make sure that the battery kit is exactly uh, as tight as possible. So, if we're looking at the battery, you're going to be looking at the positive and the negative terminals uh, that are right here. Number one, you want to make sure that all the connections are tight. And number two, you want to make sure that it's free of corrosion. And what I mean by corrosion, it's going to look like little uh, sort of blue and white fuzz that's on there. And if that looks good, then uh, then you should be okay going into winter or if, when we're already into winter. And Mike, another thing that you guys recommend is is checking the voltage once a month. Um, is that something I can do? I mean, who who can do that exactly? So if you have the tools, you could do it. Uh, but it's not as easy as it sounds. Uh, our battery service, we have uh, we have a mobile battery service for our members, uh, and we'll dispatch a light service call uh, to you, and we'll be able to check the, the state of health and the state of charge of, uh, of your entire electrical system, which is going to give you a, a fantastic reading on, uh, on the state of, uh, of health and charge of the battery uh, in the form of cold cranking amps. And uh, if you're close to where it needs to be uh, for, for a brand new battery, then you should be fine going in. If you think less, uh, less than that, then it's, uh, it's going to be required. Mike, Mike, off the top, I mentioned not all batteries are the same. So how do we make sure we have the right battery? Correct. So not all batteries are the same, uh, and it all depends on the type of car that you have. Uh, more luxury cars have more features. Uh, you have stop and go technology. You got auto headlights. You got auto cruise control. You got a whole bunch of different things that rely on the on battery. So um, it all depends on the cold cranking amps uh, of the particular battery, and you want to, and that's that's set by the manufacturer. And you want to make sure that any battery you replace uh, meets that minimum requirement. Uh, if it can't meet that minimum requirement don't even think about putting in because it's just going to cause you problems down the road. Uh, many people are working from home, myself included, as you can see, we're doing daytime, uh, the home edition. Um, you know, how often should you be driving your car? Can I just start my car and let it idle and that's going to help out the battery? What should we be doing as far as, you know, looking after our batteries and, and getting our cars on the road, Mike? It's a great question, and, and you know we've been we've been uh, been asked that question probably you know dozens of times over the past two or three years. Um, you want to make sure that starting it is okay, and that's great. You at bare minimum we want to start it, we want to let it run a little bit. Obviously, make sure that it's outside. But the best thing that you can do for your vehicle is to drive it. 
The worst thing that you can do is not drive it. And it's not just the battery itself that, that needs to, to stay up to charge. It's everything that's inside the engine, things that you can't see. The fluids need to move around inside. Uh, they need to they need to uh, keep everything inside lubricated. And that's super important. And that needs to, in order for that to be done, you have to drive it. So I personally, I would recommend a couple a couple times a week if you can. Okay. Uh, Mike, always a pleasure seeing you. Thanks so much for joining us today. Really appreciate it. Thanks, Derek, for having us. Appreciate it. Take All right. Care. Take care, Mike. A lot of benefits, by the way, when it comes to a CAA membership. I can say that from personal experience. I have a membership, and they have saved me on many occasions. You can visit caaneo.ca to find out more information. Don't go anywhere. Lots more daytime coming up right here on Rogers TV.